there's this really cool area that I'm going to right now that's allegedly supposed to be this very spiritual epicenter of energy. What does that mean? I have no f***ing idea. Look at me, I'm in a bad situation. Look at him, he's got a bad reputation. They be looking at us, thinking we are too much. Look at me, I'm in a bad situation. Look at him. People that go there and meditate and get real spiritual with the earth and eat vegan stuff. Not because I'm trying to get all spiritual, because just no because there's some really cool stuff to look at, I think. It's been a bit of a dark week in the LGBT community in Los Angeles with the passing of Lady Red. She was a very prominent drag queen that passed away way too soon. She was really well known for being on Hey Queen TV, being one of the co-hosts, which for those that don't know is a drag queen talk show on YouTube and I think it's streaming some places now. Maybe Netflix? I didn't know Lady Red personally, but when someone has such a, a big personality, like she did, you, you see her everywhere. Our paths cross quite a bit. Oftentimes I see her out at different drag functions, sometimes at the bars. She was actually in a music video that I produced. And of course, I've watched Hey Queen TV quite a bit. I know a lot of my friends have worked with her closely, and seeing everybody's posts on social media was pretty incredible. It always takes something like that, someone going too soon, for you to start appreciating and looking at all the people around you. Just goes to show that you can't take anything for granted. Interestingly enough, my best friend's dad just went into hospice. Uh, he's like, to call him my best friend's dad wouldn't do it justice. Like I call him, I call him dad. Like I've known him since I was 13 or 12. And basically took care of me as my second family. My best friend and her parents lived across the street from me as a kid. So I would always go to their house. No questions asked. The door was always open for me. It really provided a, an escape for me. If anything ever got too tough at, at my home, I could always go over to their house and, you know, just have dinner and stuff. And, and they always just welcomed me and it was, it was always the best. I remember when he found out that I was queer. That was one of the most terrifying moments of my life because not that I wanted him to accept me. I just, I didn't want anything to change. And I think when he found out about me, he... Man, his, his reaction was really, he just did not care. Not in a bad way, but like, it just didn't matter to him. Like, all right. I'm pretty sure he just said, okay, dinner's at eight. Like, there was no issue of me being queer and being best friends with his daughter. The only thing he cared about was us never getting into too much trouble, which we didn't. The thing with getting older that nobody tells you about is that you're gonna have to see a lot of the people that you love pass away. You're gonna have to take care of a lot of people that used to take care of you. Thankfully, he's affected so many people and really just shined his warm personality on all of us that we can take that and apply it to the world. And that will be his legacy. I hope that one day I can affect as many lives in a positive way as he did, or even just half of that, and I would I would be really happy, I'd be very proud. So that place was f***ing packed. I thought people were supposed to be staying home and not going out. And I would be the only one going on a hike. But obviously that's not happening. I don't know where I'm going, but let's go. 
just walking on the side of the freeway, parked my car somewhere on the side of the mountain. Hopefully I can find that later. But I drove all this way, so I might as well figure out how to get into that parking lot. God, I miss bars being open so I don't have to do this nonsense. Could be sitting in a nice air-conditioned bar, sipping on some tequila, watching drag queens perform, but instead, I'm on the side of a freeway trying to find some goddamn entertainment. Also, I just saw a snake, and I'm not a fan of running into critters. Uh -huh. Yeah, I get that you got a history But I don't want to think about no other than us Then look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's got a bad Too many people are saying hi to me as I'm passing them It's not really making me uncomfortable other than I just don't feel like talking So the mask makes me able to just mumble And people just kind of nod along with it and I don't have to smile. Why do I need to be good all the time? Lord help me cross these streams. Everybody's been like very careful trying to go across them on the rocks to not get wet. Oh. And I just kind of go through it and get completely soaked because I have Doc Martens on and they're good for everything. This is actually really nice and peaceful once you pass all the people, just like most places. Honestly, I just want to sit and relax out here. Just kind of think and not think at the same time. Just want to like sit and, uh, and appreciate everything. Well, I haven't felt any cosmic energy but I do feel some pain from wearing skinny jeans on a hike. And it might not be life-changing, but it's pretty uncomfortable. <laughs> 